Hey, what's up? Don't click away. Today I'm going to do a teardown and show you guys what powers the Forward 361 Plus. I'm Javi Guzman with MrPhoneDoctor.com and thank you all for tuning in and checking out this episode. If you guys need any kind of device repair, please visit us at www.MrPhoneDoctor.com and while you're there, please make sure to check out our social media platforms found below. So I've been getting a lot of requests from you all regarding how long it takes to heat up, how loud is the machine, does it have dual pump, single pump, etc. So today in this video, I'm going to go ahead and do a detailed teardown and show you guys what powers the Forward 361 Plus. I'm going to go over in detail, cover how loud in decibels the pumps are, and of course, how long it takes for this machine to get up to temperature. So without further ado, let's go ahead and begin disassembling the Forward 361 Plus. All right, so I'm first going to go ahead and start off by disassembling the machine. You can see how it's attached. Uh, it's pretty much got screws all along here along the body and that pretty much allows the housing to come out so um, this is actually be a really good guide for you for you guys as well any of you guys needing to do any kind of repairs on this machine just follow this guide and you'll be able to swap out any kind of pumps and any heating sinks that you guys need to exchange if they go out so i'm going to start off by removing these And to let you guys know, we have used this machine. We actually used it one time and it worked very great. So I'm excited to put this in full use. And this is a 110 volt machine. For those of you guys wondering. So as you can see, it's very simple to take apart. Do you want to hold the base here? We're going to lift this body up and we're going to just lean it over to the side. And here you can see the insides of this machine. I'm going to go ahead and uh, disconnect this pump. And since it is a vacuum sucking, it's not blowing air out. It really doesn't need any kind of clamps because it's going to just suck and it's going to create a vacuum seal. So this is the tube holding the pump. And you can see how there's a cool little, you see that little, uh, what is that, uh, filter. So this little filter keeps any kind of dirt and debris that may get inside when you're cutting glass or glue, oka. It prevents any oka from going into the pumps and blowing them out. So really cool. You can see that this is the dual pumps. You can see your one pump here and your second pump here. And you have your power supply here. This allows everything to get up to temperature. And then here you're gonna have your thermostat controller. This is the thermostat controller right here. And if for some odd reason you do need to replace your plate, everything does come apart right here. For this video, I'm not gonna take anything apart. I don't wanna have to get my hot air gun and melt this glue. You can see how they apply a rubber glue. So I don't wanna get my hair gun and melt all this and put it back in, but it's very, very simple if you do need to swap any parts out. Um, you know, I just wanted to show you guys how easy and cool these are made you know really really simple so that's it so very simple just follow this guide if you guys do need to swap out any pumps any heating elements or any thermostat controllers uh, i'm going to go ahead and put this bad boy back together and we're going to go in depth on detail on of course i'm going to cover how long it takes to heat up how loud it is and i believe that's the only two major features on that all right, so there you guys were able to see the internals on the 361 plus next i'm going to go ahead and cover let's do the vacuum pumps because i don't want to heat it up and then end up burning myself so i'll go over the vacuum pump so i can show you guys how loud this machine gets all right so once again this is a 110 machine so make sure you guys uh plug into the right power so let's go ahead and turn the machine on now the cool thing with this is you can actually turn the heat on and off. So I'm going to go and turn this off because I don't want to go over the heating element yet. I do want to go over the vacuum, uh, the decibel reading on that, and of course show you how strong these pumps are. 
So first, let's go ahead and check and see how loud these uh, the sound is on this machine. So right now we are at a whisper. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the switch for the vacuum. You see that very quiet, guys. It barely even went up. It went up to quiet office. When I'm not talking, you can see it go to quiet office, which is at about 50 to 58 to 60 decibels. Now, I do want to show you guys how strong this vacuum is for those of you out there who are wanting to purchase this. So I did bring a glass that I'm going to go ahead and attach on here. And you can see that this is the main plate where it actually grabs and, and vacuums. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the vacuum. And you need to press down right here when you are vacuuming any kind of OLED or glass. See that? We got it. Look at that. See, I'm, I'm pulling pretty hard and it, the table's just lifting up with me. So you can see it's, it's pretty solid. You know, I think if I pick it up, it's probably going to end up folding and of course the seal's going to come out, but I'll try. I can't say that this is going to be able to pick up the table, but it is a strong hold, guys. I'm putting a good amount of pressure on it before it ends up popping off. So for you guys out there, the vacuum, dual pumps on this, it's good. So there's that step. The only one thing I do wish forward you guys did add was a little release button um, because trying to get this glass off, it's pretty stubborn. So let's go ahead and let's cover how long it takes to heat up. Now with our last machine, the Ford 360, we did have issues with that one heating up. We got a 110 machine and it took about you know 20 to maybe even 30 minutes for it to get up to temperature. So what we ended up doing is we just plugged in a 220 switch into it, or plug I should say, and it heated up within minutes. Now the cool thing with this one is, this one is a 110 and the heat up time is stellar. It heats up very, very quickly. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the heating element on so you guys can see. So I'm gonna hit start and we're gonna hit start here on the dill. And I believe the temperature that we have this one going to right now is channel three. So we have it going up to 120. So that's a good temperature. You know, for those of you guys doing in frame, that's the temperature that you're gonna use when you have your OLED face up. If you ever have your OLED facing down, temperature is going to be between, I don't know, I'd say like 90 to 100. All right, so we are at the halfway point and we are in at two minutes. So I'm betting since we're halfway there, it's going to take another two minutes to get to 120. What do you guys think? So by the way, guys, uh, I am going to be doing a lot more in-depth uh, machine review videos. Um, I do want to do teardowns, show you guys the internals, show you guys the quality of what's inside them, how they're built, designed. And um, yeah, I mean, going forward, I'm going to try to do a little bit more of those types of videos. Um, there's only so many repair videos that you can do, so um, I'll try to come up with other ideas as far as doing repair videos for you guys to watch and learn. If there's anything out there that you guys do want to see, let me know. All right, so we are at... Oh, shit. I guess I forgot to change the thing. We're at 80, so we hit 80 degrees. Let's go to 120. I might have changed it. So we're on channel 1. We hit channel 1 temperature. Let's go ahead and hit channel three temperature. And I thought I had this going, but hey. So we got up to temperature 80. It was pretty quick. You guys saw that. Let me go ahead and I don't know why it's not going to 120. Oh, that's why. Okay, so for you guys out there, whenever you want to change the channel, which I did forget to mention, there's three channels. So you can have three different temperatures set. Whenever you want to change the channel, you got to hit the channel number and then you hit the channel again and that sets it. So I was hit, I hit channel three and then I hit enter thinking it was like the older machine where it would set it. But on this newer one, channel, channel will set it. So that was my bad. So now we're going up, we're at 81.4. Yeah, weird. I thought channel three, enter would have done it, but that's what we're here for, right? We learn as we go. So I think we already hit the temperature by now. We're already at six minutes, so... Um, that was just my error. We probably sat there talking for a little bit and minutes passed. But anyway, uh, let's just see how long it takes to get there. So we're 85, 86. So it's just bumping up pretty quick. To sum it all up, guys, this machine's great. It heats up fast. It's got dual pumps and it's pretty quiet. So if you guys do want to purchase one, 
Uh, I'll leave purchase links down below. You guys could go to Forward's website and purchase it. I'll see, maybe we'll look into carrying these in, but um, I know with shipping costs and things like that right now, everything's just so expensive. You're paying, you know, double the cost right now. Um, but either way, I'll leave links. Thanks for subscribing, guys. Uh, make sure you be on the lookout. I'll be making the other video of me doing a Note 20 Ultra teardown, or not teardown, but disassembly from the frame and the OLEDs. So uh, subscribe. See you guys in the next one. Cheers. <music>